everybody so we're going to sort of do a two for or two for whatever you want to call it today a um, couple things I got this one the large box you see here is uh, some mags uh, that I got off of Gunbroker. I'll explain a little bit more a little bit more about that in a minute and also some mags that I got from a company called CS Specs um, many of you may not know who they are but they manufacture uh, the Z Zostava M77 308 mags. Uh, they make them specifically for Zostava. Uh, those are those 20 round 308 uh, mags in their AKs. Uh, they're very high quality, actually pretty nice. They work very well from what I understand. Um, but something you guys may not know is they also make um, 25 round, no, I'm sorry, 30 round um, M1A mags. So without further ado, we're going to dive off in here and show you what these things look like. Um, you know, I just kind of ran across this company out of the blue while researching uh, some stuff on, uh, well that thing is actually glued, um, basically while researching some stuff online. Um, wow, I did not expect that is glued together and stapled on the bottom. Huh. Well, they really made sure that this thing is in here. All right. Packing slip. Well, they really packed these well. Um, completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, um, so for those of you looking for much higher capacity M1A, actually, I'm sorry, M77 or M1A mags, also known as the military version M14, CS Specs is a great option. They're not cheap, don't get me wrong, but if you want something uh, that's really going to enrage uh, some of the more liberal minded individuals, uh, by all means, this is the way to do it. So I'm just going to slip this one out of the pack here. Hopefully, I didn't just cut it. I did not. Um, for those of you that don't know, I did order myself um, an M77. It is on the way pretty soon. Um, but as you can see here, uh, this mag on the follower, you may not be able to see it very well, but it is a laser engraved USA there. You can probably see that well. Uh, you can also see it on the magazine housing as well as the floor plate. So the cool thing is, this is a nice high cap version or high cap solution for your M77. Um, they have these available for sale on their website. I want to say they're like, um, uh, don't quote me, I'll probably get it wrong, probably between like 50 and 60 bucks, something like that. Um, this one actually, hmm. Well, oh, oh, that's the way it's shaped. So, you guys probably saw that. I think it's actually supposed to be shaped that way, which is shocking because that's the way the one in the package is. But anyway, you know, once I get the rifle in, I'll check it out. I'll sort it out, you know, make sure there's no major issues here. Um, they also sell replacement springs on their website. Super quick shipping. Um, as you can see, it was packed very well. Um, but that is that 25 round Zostava M77 mag uh, chambered. You know, I'll, obviously most of you know the M77s are chambered in 308. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the only manufacturers of a 308 AK variant. Um, now, off to another cool item of interest these 30 round. M1A, also known as M14 mags. Um, every review that I saw on their website, um, these were had some rave reviews, especially with people that had Springfield M1As like myself. Um, you know, I think I've got a factory 20 rounder. Well, this is a factory, or not a factory, but a aftermarket 30 rounder. And no. I'm not going to insert it into a rifle and go invite and violate YouTube's policies and get this video banned. So, anyway, got the nice little oil soaked wrapper on the follower there. So, I'll just give you guys a cool, a good, quick look at this. 
and a nice black finish. You know, obviously they didn't mark these USA because, you know, you're going to use it in an American made rifle. You know, this this is all marked USA for the 922R compliance. Got to make sure you stick with the 922R compliance, especially on those imported Zostava M77s. Um, very, you know, very stout springs. Um, same situation as with these. They sell uh, replacement spring sets, so that's that's pretty slick. Um, so there you have that. Um, I want to say some total. I bought both of these. I wanted to say I spent like a little over two hundred dollars for two of the 25 rounders for the M77 and two of the 30 rounders for the M1A. So let's set all of that aside. Let's bring it back up real quick. I totally, I don't even know how they wrap this. Obviously they did a much better job than what I'm about to do because I am butchering this. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, there we go. But, this is what I want to get into. This is a cool one. Okay, so, I've told you guys before, a lot of times you can find some really cool stuff on Gunbroker. In particular, a lot of things that you can't necessarily find so easily anymore. So, I also um, bought a um, Zostva M90. Uh, those are those AK variants chambered in 5.45. Uh... By 45? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting my calibers mixed up. 5.56 five, by 45, you know, it's the 5.56 five, five, NATO. Um, however, they come with plastic mags. A lot of people hate the mags. Uh, some people have some issues. If you go out, you check Ian McCollum's video on Forgotten Weapons, you'll see that he had some major issues with his. The mag just completely froze up and he dumped the rounds out onto the ground. It's pretty sad to see. When they first started importing these, they uh, imported the ZPAP uh, M85s, I believe, uh, through Century Arms. That's before Zospa started selling uh, stuff or importing stuff under their, you know, with their own, their own brand. Um, and they had some metal mags, so they still sell them. But those mags will run you um, roughly about forty bucks a piece. I think they're thirty nine ninety nine for a thirty round um, M90 mag. Well, I wanted some metal mag, so I went out to the gun broker, I saw an auction, uh, it was a penny listing, started out at one cent, so I kept a close eye on it, um, and then coming down close to the wire, you know, I started bidding on it, and I was bidding against another individual who, I guess, didn't want it as bad as I did, and it was a listing for 10 demo, uh, you know, used in display guns, gun show guns, whatever, of the M85 metal mags, which also work in the M90. Um, so, that's what this is. Um, and after I pull these out, I'll tell you what I paid for them. And you guys will probably get sick to your stomach. Looks like they wrapped these, or packaged these quite nice. box aside. So we've got five boxes here. Give you a guess of how many are in each box. By the way, this was a, this was a listing for ten. Let's check them out. So, I know the glare is absolutely terrible. These... <laughs> These still have some cosmoline on them. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, these are those ZPAP M85 mags. These are those metal mags, the 556 five, mags for that Zostava AK variant. As you can see, these look awesome. But how many did I get? Well, like I said, five packages. Two mags in each package. Pulling them out. And I'm not going to belabor the video here by showing you every single mag, but as you can see, they are all in 
really good shape. So you guys are gonna hate me for this. Um, so it was a long shot, but I was like, you know what? If I get these mags for three hundred dollars, it's still a great deal because they cost forty bucks a piece. So I set my max bid actually at three fifty and said, you know, forget it. Let's see what happens. So by the way, I got ten mags plus the cost of shipping. So 10 mags, including the cost of shipping. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I won the auction for. But total cost, $38 and some change. Absolutely smoking, amazing deal. 10 mags for the price of one. So, you know, I don't come across very cool stuff like this uh, too often. You know, I did stumble on those those Carcanos through DK Firearms for 50 bucks a piece, which was a piece, which was just a smoking deal. They might have been 59, but regardless, super cheap. Um, but these mags, you know, they have the nice metal follower, good stiff springs. I mean, just all metal goodness. Still have some cosmoline caked on them. Oh, I love it. Absolutely awesome. So anyway, don't give up hope on finding stuff on Gunbroker. A lot of times. Some people just, I guess, overlook things. Um, in my case, there wasn't hardly anybody looking for this stuff. Or if there were, they were not looking for the, for the right listing. You know, kind of like how some things get named differently on eBay and, you know, nobody finds it and you luck up on it. So, anyway, um, this was actually through a company out of Texas called uh, SWFA. Um, See if I can pop the name somewhere up here, probably. Um, and they just had listings on on Gunbroker. Um, but yeah, I mean, these things look. There's just a cross sampling right there. You know, they look great. Followers look great. You know, spot welds, eh, maybe not so great, but they're perfectly fine. You know, locking lugs. You know, you check out the floor plates. Uh, no, that's not rust. That's just some kind of cosmoline gunk. I'm not really sure. But that'll clean right up. These things look awesome. So, like I said, you know, ten for the price of one. So, anyway, you guys like videos like this? Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends. If you love seeing surplus unboxings, all kinds of neat resto work, uh, make sure you like and subscribe because um, I love doing stuff like this. This is my passion. Um, you know, my day job is my day job, but this is what's fun. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day, and uh, be safe out there. And like I said, you know, share with your friends if they like stuff like this, too. Thanks for watching.